Hey everyone, today we are venturing into Gel Ball Blaster with the first blaster in the brand new Hypergel series from Ixshop, the Ixshop Hypergel Clutch. I'm the old nerve guy, welcome to Tag. The Hypergel series from Ixshot. Basically, Ixshot this year is the MVP on every front. They are on Pro Blaster level, Casual Blaster, and they even go into the Gel Ball Blaster. And those Gel Ball, I really need to see what they are worth, what they have to offer, because this first clutch in the series, the entry level, is basically the equivalent of what a Legion could be in the nerf, but the Legion is twice the price. This one was $21 on Amazon. Uh, quite inexpensive. And it's the first time we have a closed box package for Ixshot. Normally we have open package with those screw posts at the end that hold the blaster onto the packaging. So let's go on the table for a true unboxing this time and then we're gonna review this Ixshot Hypergel Clutch Blaster. The Ixshot Hypergel Clutch. That's kind of a first for Ixshot going gel blaster. They are bringing new ammo again. Uh, they are giving us 5,000 in there, and there is protective goggle included, according to the box. Uh, this is kind of a gimmick, 150 FPS with 100 round hopper capacity and 400 mag. 400 round in the mag. I want to see what that mag is all about for this blaster, but that kind of look interesting. Here are the two other offering in the gel ball blaster, the hyper gel for Ixshot. Trace Fire, which is basically what nerfs offer in their first uh, Gelfire Mythic blaster and the Mr. Beast Gelfire Mythic. This is kind of the equivalent and this is like the big boy with Select Fire, Motorized Magazine, all the bells and whistle. This is an interesting one. I really want to put my hand on this blaster because first it look good and secondly eh, if you have to have a gel ball blaster in a game better have the best one so this one but for this entry spring powered pump action blaster let's unbox it because it's a true unboxing Okay, that look empty. So in that box, we have a pair of safety goggles, some instruction, the 5000 round, which I'm very happy they are split into 500 because they give you the hydration bottle, which you just fill with one bag, fill it with water, let it sit, they're gonna hydrate and then you can use them. This magazine bottle i don't know really i don't know it's a very good clear plastic there is kind of an opening but no catch or nothing here there is a little i don't know cap maybe here to close it oh yeah to close it for carrying around in your pocket okay so that's neat oh the, i kind of like this feature this is kind of your bottle when you're on the field but this thing goes here and there is kind of a, a door so i'm curious to see what this thing is doing probably gravity feeding into your hopper yeah exactly because there is a door opening here when i'm going this way so if it's empty i guess with this thing inside you can just shove it on the other way fill your hopper and then go run around this is pretty neat and that mag release oh oh ouch it shot this is painful good thing we don't have to remove it but this thing it it hurts those little corner they are painful i already have mark on my finger i did it three times this is this is not really good for this if I have to remove one point, it's this, but for the rest, man, this plastic is good. I wish they would make all blaster with this kind of plastic. This feel like uh, almost thicker than their Chaos Blaster plastic, which is something.
those rounds are hydrated. Uh, during those three hours, I had some time to examine the blaster. And I have to say one thing. Uh, I mentioned the plastic a little earlier, but my god, this thing feels like first party. You know the way those old school nerf feel uh, like the old school rival or even the Adventure Force Pro line or the Dark Zone Max. This is a very, very sturdy blaster. I like the way this one is made. Ikshot, please, you really need to take this kind of plastic and make your long shot or your pro blaster like that because this is something. I mean, come on, this one was $21. We got a super high quality, at least a super high quality feel on it. It's less expensive, got better plastic. This is, this is really something. Imagine the long shot being made with that plastic. It would have been a whole other game. You would have just have eaten Dart Zone at their own game. This would have been incredible. Before we move on with any other test, I want, just want to speak two words about the little goggles that come with it. Those safety glasses are by far the best one I have received with a blaster. And those lens doesn't distort as much as uh, with the Dart Zone uh, safety glasses. I really like those. I wish you would have included those with the long shot. Uh, because this would have been a bit better for your offering having a good pair of safety glasses but I really like those I might even use them those are Ixchot branded safety glasses the clutch blaster itself and I have my round and apparently because I had some time to go through the book uh, I was right you fill the magazine completely and Okay, you really need to push it down. You fill the magazine completely. And if you need to carry them, you have a little cover on them. So that's good. So we fill that out. And with, when this hopper is empty, because we can fill this hopper with the top door right here. It's a very long door to fill this hopper. It should be easy. But it's not very shallow. So the round might bounce. Instead... Ikshot asks you to fill this thing, you put the magazine in, and when you're empty, you flip it around, you shake it, the round will go down and fill your hopper. There's even that little door opening at the bottom. This is kind of cool. So to test that out, I'm going to fill only this magazine and try to refill the hopper, the top hopper with the movement gimmick on it. So let me put a couple around in that thing. I've made a full 500 into this bottle. I've put about 200 rounds in the blaster. And if I put it that way. Oh yeah. And. Yeah. Okay so I might have put about 100 in there. Because everything. I've put in. I've went into the top hopper. That is pretty neat. Let me set the chronograph to test that thing because no, I am not going to test that indoor. It's not the place to play with those things. But I want the chronograph on this thing. I want to make sure it's fetching the 150 FPS Ikshot claims on it. Chronograph test for this Ikshot Hypergel Clutch Blaster. I've tried to set up myself a bottle behind the chronograph so I can catch some of them. Hopefully I'm going to be able to have some reading. Let's try it. Hundred and sixty four. One of them blew up inside the chronograph. I am making a mess in my chronograph. This is going to deserve a cleaning after that. Oh, 
okay and that one I'm not sure but yeah basically it's working but I'm kind of making a mess inside of my chronograph with this thing indoor but that's okay the FPS are pretty much there I mean 189 maximum uh, 139 minimum let's remove that it's more like 165 minimum this was like a misfire the rest is crazy this performance are really impressive for a small pump action with a 100 round upper on top of it plus this extra magazine which kind of works really really nice i mean with their little flip cap on it so you can carry them on you full of little bb's assuming you will need them i will see this more useful in a automatic blaster but as is for now this pump action it got the power it delivers i had 165 fps and overshot i have one or two uh, 140 139 38 ish but that's always right after there is kind of a jam inside it doesn't really happen that it explode around inside of the barrel but it happened sometime from time to time i mean over close to 100 round i might have three so that's a lot a lot better than the legion was doing with nerf plus this shell i mean this is the proof that x shot can make very good very beautiful and very sturdy blaster if they could put that plastic and that thickness into their pro blaster future one and maybe revamp the long shot to adopt this kind of shell very sturdy very rigid plastic this feel built to last this feel really like a toy that you can play with it and it will last not like something you're gonna buy a new one as soon as it's gonna break this one feels sturdy i'm gonna have to run more tests to see if it is viable over time plus uh, I'm gonna open it to check the internal because I have some idea with this blaster since I saw it just because of its shape and I really wish if it shot bring us a new pro series blaster let's say it's not a pistol bring us this small short compact pump action I really dig it the shape of it it's really really CQB I like the form factor the FPS are up to close to 200 fps i didn't cross it but i went to my highest ever was 197.6 so that is something to remember with when this blaster advertised 150 fps you reach it it is giving it to you then there is the look i mean on top of everything it has for it there is this skin deco on the blaster which is pretty pretty impressive i think it should start to put that everywhere and i kind of like it that gives more detail more flair to the blaster this is really neat for the price point of 21 dollar canadian this beats anything i understand it's a gel ball blaster but as a blaster and even more if i can convert that thing to half dark this is going to be a worthy one yeah i think that's it for this small video in the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to notify for my latest video. This was Dave Fatag. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.